Okay, so today we're going to learn how to light a Bunsen burner safely. Now, first things, you will need a Bunsen burner. This is a Bunsen burner. You need a heat proof mat to protect the bench. And you'll also need a wooden spoon. Okay, so you get your heat proof mat, you need to place it near a gas tap. You need to put that down to protect the bench so we don't burn the bench because the Bunsen burner can get very hot. What you next need to do is put your Bunsen burner on the heat proof mat and you need to take this end and you need to plug it onto a gas tap. Make sure you push it down as hard as you can so it's nice and sealed and no gas can leak out. Now that the Bunsen burner is plugged in, you need to make sure that this air hole here is closed. This is really important and I'll show you why later on. Once your Bunsen burner is all set up, you can come over to the teacher's desk with your wooden spill and you can light it using the Bunsen burner on the teacher's desk. It's important to stand back so you don't burn your fingers, wait for it to catch light and you're ready to go back to your place. It's very important at this stage that you put your hand around the flame in front of you like so in case you bump into anybody. If you bump into anybody, your hand will protect the flame and you won't set them on fire. Once back to your place, your partner will need to turn on the gas tap for you before you can light it. Now this needs to be done very quickly. It's quite a, a little complicated method of doing it. What your partner needs to do is you must lift up the yellow tap and then twist. And you should hear the sound of gas coming from your Bunsen burner and smell it. So, your partner turns the gas tap on and straight away you need to hold your lit spill over the Bunsen bit, like so, and it should light. It's very important you do it arm's length away so that you don't get any of the flashback in your face. Once you've finished, you mustn't blow your spill. Just simply drop it on your heat proof mat and it will go out. Now that your Bunsen burner is lit, you can see that it has a beautiful orange flame here. So I can see this Bunsen burner is on. Now, going back to why the air hole is closed, this is the reason. The heating flame that you use on a Bunsen burner is blue, it's very hot, so to heat anything you must open the air hole. However, if you're finished and you're moving away from your Bunsen burner, you need to make sure you turn the air hole closed so that I can see it. So now I can see the Bunsen burner, I'm not going to accidentally burn myself on it. But obviously like this, on the blue flame, I can't really see it and there might be a risk of burning myself. So always make sure when you're not using your Bunsen burner, the air hole is closed. Once you've finished using your Bunsen burner, you've obviously closed the air hole to make sure it's on the yellow safety flame. It's then time to turn it off. And all you simply need to do is twist the gas tap in the opposite direction. And the Bunsen will go out by itself. Leave your equipment to cool and then you'll be ready to disconnect from the gas tap and put your equipment away.